Since 2008, Surrey-based dance company Stopgap have been leading an integrated choreography module for the University of Gloucestershire. Working with first-year performing arts students, the Stopgap team introduce a series of choreographic tools, ideas behind integrated dance technique, and skills used within community dance practice. Stopgap is the only dance company in the UK that has learning and physically disabled professionals working alongside non-disabled dancers. We at Stopgap strive to create expressive dance theatre that can communicate with new dance audiences. The University of Gloucestershire found an invaluable partner in the National Star College, a residential college for students with physical disabilities and or acquired brain injury. It is their commitment to this project that is the heart of its success. The whole process starts with myself and some other team members from Stopgap going into the university and preparing the students for the project. We introduce them to contemporary dance, integrated contemporary dance and theatre and the history of Stopgap Dance Company within this whole framework. We also run a short preparatory session with the students at the National Star College um, before a three-day intensive where the students meet and we have a big dance session all together, a big creative choreographic session, just introducing them to each other. Then they work independently, either in pairs or trios and groups, to create something that they perform at the end of the session. So on the first day, when the whole group is integrated and they meet, they meet on the same level, so they all have a dance session all together that they've all been prepared for. It kind of knocks out the fact that, oh, we're meeting this big group of disabled people <laughs> and we're meeting a group of non-disabled people. They're all just there for a dance session and that's the most important thing and the choreography becomes the most important thing after that. So it's through the dance that we're integrating them and preparing them for working with different people rather than introducing it as an issue in itself. I was quite scared of like how to go about working with someone with a disability but it's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. It's been a really good experience. I really enjoyed doing something different. Lots of really exaggerate this breath but also really look at how tailored are and incorporate that into your and adapt to your style so it really becomes one. Lauren pushes, can you really push into me? Yeah. Do you know the thing so that, that contact's really clear. That. Eye contact's really important. Okay. It's really magical when you both look at each other. And at the beginning, yeah. Taylor is smiling. She's like this. So maybe you need to smile. Yeah, just really look at each other. Really enjoy this bit. Start contorting your body into different places. And Helen, you can use other body parts, can you? You could use your head. You could lean in with your head. Yeah? I was quite um, worried um, and a bit scared because I've never had any contact with um, people with disabilities before, um, but I was interested and I was quite excited. It's been so good because you worry that there's going to be a barrier, but you just connect and you work well together and if you just work um, to their comfort and what they feel comfortable doing, you create honest honest work and a real connection and I think lots of people think that oh it's hard because they can't do this it's not a case that they can't it's a case of this is the way they move let's adapt our style to them and that's what I enjoy. We've done a workshop with Stocker which um, broadens our horizons, the woods are developing our skills I'm getting a big atmosphere of enthusiasm. I'm grateful that um, I've got the opportunity. We've always been with other able-bodied students and so it was nerve-wracking a little bit and it was a little bit of a confidence issue but after doing the workshops with Stopgap we felt so much more reassured that everything would be okay because we had all the um, choreographic tasks to do and that made it a lot better. They've both obviously got their own style of dance. I mean, Oliver's quite hip hoppy. Rob has this sort of jerky movement. And so we took bits from both of them and incorporated both their styles into the quality of movements we do. And they both input ideas on how to 
move from one thing to another. It moves my compliments to suggest ideas in the room. We all had an input. We didn't want to just come in and go, oh, we're going to do this, this, this and this. We wanted them to feel a real part of the group so we could all bond and get on really well together. And when I first met Rachel, I felt that she lacked a little bit of confidence and, and she said, you, you're the dancers, you're going to do great. And I said, no, I said, we're here to learn from you. Um, you're going to be a dancer as well. And she laughed and, you know, that, that's, that's the way she is. But I've learned, I've learned things off Rachel and Callie and they've learned things off me. So it's nice to be able to work together. It's really fascinating for me to watch how the students from both centres and both colleges really flourish and develop as artists and communicators and collaborators. It's a real steep learning curve and it changes every year and each student has their own individual journey within the whole process. The performance at the end is a highlight, I really enjoy it, but it's the process that is the most fascinating to watch and to really see how in such a short space of time people's preconceptions can be completely shattered. It's a chance in a lifetime and it's unbelievable. Their artistic offerings can be completely broadened. Fantastic, it's got to be the word. And develop skills that can be transferred to them way into their careers, way into the future.